Well, calling for a meeting with the governor is what union leaders want as plans to close Mount McGregor move forward, and those plans could cost hundreds of jobs. Craig Smith joins us live now. He's in Wilton, where a meeting was held this morning to try and find a way to stop that facility from shutting down, and I'm guessing its own way. This probably, too, was pretty emotional, Craig. Well, it could be, Liz. You know, some of the people who work here that we spoke with uh, when this was over really are in a quandary. They, they don't know exactly what they're going to do if they lose their jobs. And they're being told they'll have the possible uh, option to go to a job at a different prison. But for some of the people who work here, that's just a long drive or, or would necessitate them picking up and then buying a new house and selling the one they have here. So, uh, you know, it wasn't much of an outburst here or a display of emotion, but uh, you can just imagine what people here are thinking to themselves as they wonder what their future holds. Uh, just behind me here at this building near the entrance to the, uh, the approach to the prison, uh, the approach to the prison, which is farther up the hill, is where the meeting was held here today. Uh, union members and uh, also some assemblymen and state senators here who are trying to fix this problem as they see it. Uh, in two ways. One is the uh, assemblymen and the senators have a bill that would give legislators a chance to have some input on this. On an, uh, anytime a prison closure comes up, the assembly would have a say in it. And as you mentioned, the, the, the union would like to sit down with the, some members of the corrections department with the Cuomo administration to try to persuade them to not close this prison. The state's contention is that it would save money, about $30 million. That's very debatable how much money is going to be concerned because the moving of all of these people and the cost of safety and so forth, uh, I think it's a wash. Is there any ratio of employees to inmates where even you guys would say, yes, if it does make sense, that we don't need this many employees? Again, the, the way the Department of Correction manipulates the inmate population, they can show any facility half empty or half full. We uh, have approximately 10,000 inmates right now, more than 10,000 inmates, in a double bunk situation. Um, certainly this facility could be at full capacity as well as the other facilities. Now that meeting ended about an hour or so ago and uh, after talking to the people who came out of that, we called the Cuomo administration looking for some comment. Uh, that call was made just a short time ago, so we don't have a response from them yet. But uh, we'll have more tonight in our later newscast uh, at 5.30. We'll show you some of the people who will be affected, and we'll show you how they're dealing with this right in their own homes. We're live in Wilton, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News. Craig, that was a really interesting question you asked there of the union leader, and I'm wondering, do we have any real sense of what that ratio is there? Well, I sort of half expected him to say something like, well, sure, if you have 10 inmates and 300 people working here, then, you know, something needs to be done. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there is a point where uh, even anyone who works here would think you know, there's, there's a way to save some money. But these union uh, leaders, uh, they want to protect their union members to the best of their mm -hmm. ability. And uh, they say that the, the 300 people who work here, 320, uh, are needed and, and can be used uh, elsewhere in the corrections department. All right, Craig Smith reporting for us live from Wilton. I know you'll be on this for the rest of the day. We'll look forward to your report tonight. Thanks, Craig.